G'day everyone, welcome to Wombat Gaming. My name is Starlord. In this video, I'm going to be going over some recent news regarding the release date for Starfield and what I and many others believe could be the actual date that's been hidden in an Easter egg for all to solve. I will be following Starfield very closely and releasing video content about the game as we build up to the release date, so hit the subscribe button and follow my content so you can see the unique views that I have about the game. Anyway, let's get right into it. There has been some recent events that have led to more speculation about Starfield's release date. Here are some of the key things that have happened over the last month. On January 13, Starfield's release date on Steam changes from 2023 to coming soon, although it turns out that this didn't particularly mean anything as I think it happened to most new releases that were coming soon. On January 16th, a YouTuber, Mr. Matty Plays, says a source told him that Starfield was delayed into the summer of 2023, though there has been no other information about this, so whether this source is credible or not, who knows. On January 25th, Alika, who actually predicted the Hi-Fi Rush release date, said Bathsheba wants to delay Starfield to the fall of 2023 because it's in worse shape than Redfall, which the leaker describes as being in rough shape. I do believe that the YouTuber has since come out and said he was wrong and issued an apology on his channel, so I guess not too much could be put into this. Also on January 25th, Microsoft Bashiba's showcase reveals launch dates of January 18 for Microsoft Legends, May the 2nd for Redfall, and June 20 for Elder Scrolls Online's new expansion. Not leaving much room for Starfield's release date in the first half of the year, but I'm pretty sure they could still squeeze it in if they really wanted to. On January 27, a grey market key reseller shows the release date as March 23 as seen in this image, but it also states that the platform for launching will be Bathsheba's launcher, which no longer exists. Though there is some key information in this particular image that we can come back to. On February 6, Bathsheba's support page for Starfield currently says that Starfield is planned for the first half of 2023, leading to speculation it definitely will not be delayed again. Now there is a theory going around based off the number of the spaceship SV821393 which is clearly seen in a couple of spaceship shots in the gameplay footage which you can see right now. It is the same as the US patent number of the Wright Brothers flying machine which is number 821393 as you can see in this particular image. The patent was granted on May 22nd 1906, but the filing for the patent was on March 23, 1903, which would also make it the 120th anniversary of the event. It does line up with the grey market seller's date as well, which is very interesting. It's also 3-23-23 in the American calendar, which does seem like a very Todd Howard kind of date based off previous releases of other games. Mind you, Microsoft do have a big say in this one, and it could be what pushes it back into the American late summer. Who knows? Look, there is a many speculations about the date, but I think this is the most concrete so far. This is a pretty good Easter egg, and I think it's something that Bathsheba do like to do. So who knows? Crossing fingers for that March 23 date. And guys, for all your Starfield news and gameplay, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. It would be really helpful. This is Star Lord out, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks again, guys.